What's going on? What's happening, fellas? It's your boy, KD. Let's get right into the video, man. So today, this video is actually going to be for all my uh, purple pill guys. All right. Um, I, as you know, as you can see by the title, we're talking about dating single moms, being with single moms, being in a relationship with single moms. And uh, if you're a true red pill dude, you probably didn't even click on this video, to be honest with you. I know I know, all my red pill, my true, true red pill guys, y'all ain't even talking about this, man. Y'all not dealing with this, so I totally understand. So this is all for all my purple pill guys. And if y'all don't know what a uh, purple pill means, uh, purple pill is it's not, it's not a mixture between red pill and blue pill, just to let you know. What it basically is, a purple pill man is a, a guy who's red pill, a guy who understands female and human nature, but uh, he's open to relationships. You know, he's monogamous. He's open to being uh, in a loving, lasting relationship, eventually marriage with a beautiful woman. And, uh, you know, he's not pumping and dumping and stuff like that. So that's myself. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I'm a true purple pill. Uh, I love relationships. Uh, like I always say, man, I never let a woman get over on me, but uh, I do not mind being in a relationship with a woman. It's actually very satisfying to me. All right. So we're going to talk about today about dating and being with single moms. Now, this is one thing I never do, guys. Like I told you, I'm not a dating coach. I talk about a lot of different topics on my on my channel. But I'm going to give you the experience that you may have with dating a single mom. I never tell you guys what to do, ever. It's your life. You make your own decisions. I'm not going to tell you, like, you should only do this or you should only do that. I'm just going to give you information on your experience that you're going to have in these type of situations and then let you make the best decision possible for your own life and your own lifestyle. All right. So let's get into the first point. So when you're dating a single mom, there is a, uh, a slight risk that you are taking simply because this woman already has children in tow by obviously another man and sometimes other men, plural. So, like I said, there's a risk that you might take. There are several of them, but this is probably uh, one of the bigger ones and one of the ones that uh, it's going to actually affect you long term if you're not with the right woman. I always say, man, there isn't a problem. Well, there are some problems, but dating, dating single moms all in all, sometimes it's not a bad thing. You know, I've I've met and I've dated and I've been with some really great single moms and a lot of this stuff I'm going to talk about today, I didn't have these problems with them. Some of them I did. You know, I made some mistakes, you know, dated the wrong single moms and I suffered the consequences from it. But uh, one of the things that you're going to deal with sometimes, and it's actually negative with dating single moms, is you're going to have responsibility without authority. Okay, responsibility without authority. And what that means is you have to understand if you get in a relationship with a single mom at some point, especially if it's a long term relationship and or marriage. At some point, you're going to have to be responsible for her children. And that's not always meaning financially. Sometimes you're going to have to be emotionally uh, responsible for her children. Like you got to understand, you cannot be with a single mom and just ignore the children, especially if they're younger children. Like there's some single moms out there that will tell you, well, you know, you're with me. You know, that's my 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 baby daddy's kids. You, do, you don't have to have anything to do with my kids. Bro, that is unrealistic, all right? It's unrealistic, especially if the kids live with her. More times that they do. So you're going to have to be responsible for these children, whether that's financially, whether that's physically, as far as protecting them uh, and or disciplining them. I'm going to get to that point in a second. Or emotionally, you know, like if your man and her son, her six-year-old son comes walking the door and he crying about school, you know, and... You know, you you as the man, you're the leader of the home, so you're going to have to guide him and train him and teach him how to interact in life. But the problem with this responsibility thing is at times you're going to find that you're not going to have authority. So us as men, when we're responsible for something, we usually should have authority over it. You know, like if I'm responsible for like if I have a dog and I'm responsible for, you know, feeding my dog, walking my dog, bringing my dog to the vet. I have authority over that dog. So when I tell that dog to sit, I expect it to sit. Like, I'm not going to, you know, have uh, authority over uh, or responsibility over something and not have authority over it. And it's not a bad thing. People think of authority like you own the person, you know, like you own them, like they're your property. No, authority means I have the responsibility of making sure that you are safe. So I'm going to tell you not to go in a certain place or something like that. But when it comes to dating single moms and children, you have this responsibility 
to take care of the children, guide the children, protect the children. But there are going to be some single moms that are not going to give you that authority as far as like discipline for a perfect example. You know, the kid is acting crazy. She can't get the kid to calm down. And you as a man, you know you can get the kid to calm down. All you need to do is give him a look or tell him to say something or just grab that little motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, and put him down, you know? But uh, there are going to be some moms that are going to get offended or feel some type of way about you assuming that authority. So, this is going to be a complicated situation. Like, I've seen this happen many times. I've actually been through it. So, if you're the type of person... Or I'm going to just be honest, man. You got to really vet the woman, that, that single mom. You got to really vet her and find out how she views this type of dynamic. You know, like if you just ask her straight up, period. You know, when y'all first start dating, because this is important, fellas. You got to take care of your life. You got to take care of your peace. You have to take care of your, your life. So you got to ask her at some point before you even meet these children. Say, hey, I know you got children. I just want to know, like straight up, if... Like your son, if we take this series and we go long term, if your kid ever does something crazy, do I have the uh, the right to discipline them? Now, I'm not talking about beating the kids. I'm talking about like actually discipline them, like guide them in the right direction. And it's usually going to be in a semi forceful way because you're a parent. That's just how it works. That's the only way you get really get kids to do stuff sometimes, especially little boys. But you got to ask her, bro, straight up. Like some of y'all, y'all don't y'all don't vet the woman like y'all don't y'all don't ask the woman. And, and find out what the situation is going to be like. And y'all get y'all just hop into the relationship thinking it's, it's going to be all gravy. And then you get smacked in the face because you realize she don't want you telling her kids what to do, you know. But at the same time, she wants you to help out, buy the, buy the Disney World tickets or take a kid to the mall or, or, you know, sit down and actually play little cars and, you know, uh, you know, wrestle with the kid and stuff, all the fun stuff. So that's one of the things that you may go through when it comes to dating single moms is that having responsibility without authority. And for men, that's a real, real big deal because we're naturally authoritative figures. So it's like in us, naturally in us to be the authority, to be the disciplinary, uh, disciplinarian, should I say. So uh, you got to You got to really, like I said, you got to really vet these women if you plan on de dealing with single moms. Now, already, Seven minutes into the video, somebody probably is like, man, I'm just not going to deal with it. Hey, bro, look, don't if you don't want to, don't do it. You know, but there are some like I'm 33, bro. So in my age group, like it's, it's real hard, not hard, but it's <laughs> it's very rare that you find a woman who doesn't already have children. At my age, you know, some of you guys are younger. Y'all probably 17, 18, 21. So, uh, so a lot of the women, most of the women in y'all age group don't have children already. So y'all probably don't have to deal with this. But like I, I, I deal with a lot of women in my age group, you know, close to my age group. And they usually have children, you know. So this is something that if I chose to date a single mom, I have to be aware of this stuff. So you got You guys got to understand this. All right. All right next thing um, about dating with single mom, a potential issue is you, know, you may have or she may have. A uh, victim mindset or victim mentality. And let me explain this and be very precise about this. Usually, in most cases, most single moms, and not all, like I said, there's some great ones out there, but most single moms will have this victim type mentality because they've been hurt or left or abandoned by the baby daddy. All right, straight up. Like it, it is what it is. You know, so that is a, that is, victimhood is very addicting, you know, and it spreads like wildfire. And not only is she, not only will she may have the victim mentality, but her kids may have it as well. So uh, what I've dealt with and what I've seen and observed from other relationships and this dynamic is that usually when you're trying to like check this woman or like, you know, get her to do stuff or, you know, correct bad behavior, she's going to have that victim mentality, you know, as like she's never wrong or you're, you're the, you're the oppressor or you're the tyrant because she still has that victim you know, like I said, mentality from her previous relationship with this other man. And usually the kids also have it as well. So it's going to be hard to like tame these kids and discipline these children when they have that mentality, you know, and usually children adopt the same principles and a uh, mindset from their parents, especially their mother, because she's a caregiver. She's with them a lot. They observe her behavior and they kind of mimic it uh, for the most part. So you have to be aware of this victim mentality, guys. Like, you have to be aware of it. Like I said, that's why you have to vet the woman. Like, really analyze her. Um, now, it's because it's different from dealing with a woman who doesn't have children. Because women who don't have children have problems, too. Like, I hear guys all the time, I don't date single moms. I don't date single moms. I'm like, bro, there are some women without children that have just as many problems. 
All right, just as many problems. Now, I'm, I'm going to skip over to a great point, uh, actually a positive about dating single moms, is naturally and normally single moms are very, very nurturing women, bro. Just by nature, because they have to do this when they're taking care of infants or taking care of young children. Like, I've found the most nurturing women, I'm talking about catering, nurturing, loving women, and it's because they are moms. You know, they know how to be patient. They know how to nurture. When you're sick, you're going to have like a doctor in the house, bro. I'm talking about PhD type doctor. Because they know what they're doing because they go through a lot. Like taking care of an infant is not easy, bro. It is hard work. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of patience, a lot of uh, you got to be humble. You got to be patient. You got to be caring, loving, uh, giving. Like you have to be a nurturer. That's why like men, we, we not, we're not natural nurturers. You know, so when it comes to children, I'm like, bro, get that kid away from me. He crying. Bring him back to me when he ain't crying in his diaper clean because I don't want to deal with it. Like, that's real talk. If you if you're a man, you, you you understand what I'm saying. And it's a natural thing. Like, men, we don't really have, especially, and I read this study that said that the higher a man's testosterone, the less likely he wants to be around infants. You know, and I, and I totally understand that. Like, I totally get Like, when I read the study, I was like, yep, that makes a lot of sense. You know, because we don't have that patience. Like, when your testosterone is high, you know, uh, of course, you got to tame yourself and, you know, calm down, but you don't really have that much patience for like excessive crying. You know, you like, dude, get the dude, like the kid, the kid be three months old. You telling the kid to do some push ups. <laughs> you feel me? So, you know what I mean? So, like, like I said, back to my point, uh, women with kids, man, usually they're very nurturing. Not all of them, but most of them. Are. I want to say about 80 to 90 percent of them are very nurturing. So that's actually one of the positives, man. So if you like a, a nice, nurturing, loving caring, patient woman, you're usually going to find this in single moms. I will say it again. All right. It's not all in all, not all of them, but that's sometimes how it's going to be. Now, another thing that some of you guys may deal with when dating single moms is, I'm going to just straight up say it, uh, the kids just being annoying as hell. All right. Now, this is the thing about annoying kids. If you have children yourself and your kids are annoying, at a certain point, you can deal with it because it's your kids. Like you love them. Like you, you, You've watched them be born, you've raised them, you love them, you've been through the ups and the downs with them, and they're your kids, they're your seeds, they're your blood. So you'll be a little bit more lenient and patient when they're annoying you, you know, like you probably just tune them out, you know, and, and you know, because they're your kids, you know, if they're doing too much, you'll tell them to shut up and sit down. But at the same time, at a certain point, you you will tolerate it. Like if a kid, your kid, and it's your your kid, your blood child, they just keep like come up to you and you're trying to work and they just keep poking you in the head or poking you in the chest or poking your face, you will deal with it. You'll tune it out. You'll actually love it. You'll think it's cute because getting attention from your, your own child is the best thing in the world. But if it's somebody else's kid, <laughs> like you, you dating some chick and her, her son, her five-year-old son come up and he writing all over your papers, poking you and you know, knocking over your work, you're like, bruh, I will knock you out, bruh. Get the hell away from me. I don't even like you like that. Where your daddy at? Where is your daddy? And that, that's real talk, man. Like, it's real talk. So, um, you got to understand that, too. Now, you can't really, like, when you vetting a woman, a single mom, you can't really tell from meeting her how, how annoying her kids are going to be. But uh, what I like to say is you have to have, like I said, you have to have a talk with this woman. Because if that kid just being like obscenely annoying and you don't have a right to discipline her, given this discipline a kid given by the mother, this is going to be a problem. Now, if she gives you that right and that space and she tells you, say, hey, look, you're going to be we're going to be together. I understand you as a man, you as a leader, you have responsibility for these kids to make sure they're safe and they're taken care of because I'm giving you that. But also I'm going to give you the authority that if something bad happens or if they're getting out of line or misbehaving, you can discipline them as well. You're in the clear now, all right? You're in the clear because now you can't discipline them. Now, you got to be careful when you're disciplining another man's child, all right? Because that dude, and this leads me to my next point, that dude, the baby daddy, he ain't going to like it all the time. You know, like, I'm going to be honest. You know, part of discipline sometimes, sometimes you got to you gotta put them hands on the kid. You got to either grab them, you know, you know, old school. You got to spank them. I know nowadays a kid will call the police on you and you go to jail and it's your own kid. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you got to be a disciplinary. Maybe you got to raise your voice. Maybe you got to take stuff away from them, like take the PS5 away from them and things like that. Or, you know, rip the TV off the wall until they learn how to behave. And sometimes, bro, the baby daddy ain't going to like this. He going to have some beef with you. You know, he going to, he going to, the, the little kid, little Caden, 
go go up and tell his daddy, hey daddy, uh, mama boyfriend took my PS5 and put it in the closet. And baby daddy, like he did what? And now he over there, now he want to pick a fight with you because he feel like that ain't your job. You know what I'm saying? So this it's a sticky situation, guys. And some of you guys probably already y'all gonna put in the comments. I, I mean, I, I'm just not gonna deal with it. I'm just fucked. You know, I, I get it, bro. I understand. You know, I'm just letting you guys know what happens, bro. It's a lot of single moms out there, and it's a lot of you guys considering dating single moms. So, like I said, bro, it there are some great single moms. They have their situation in check. They got cool baby daddies who ain't worried about them no more. Who understand that they're gonna still date other men. You know, even though they're not together like that, it is what it is. I'm just giving you guys the results of what's going to happen and the experiences <laughs> that you may have, all right? <laughs> I think it's a funny topic, bro, because when I talk to most men, bro, they're like, man, I ain't even, I ain't even about to go that route. You feel me? And I get it, bro. I'm just letting you guys know, all right? So there is a thing uh, that's called cuckoldry, all right? And basically, it's the idea of you raising another man's child that's not yours. All right. And this is actually frowned upon in some countries, you know, in the West and the United States, it's actually become like a norm. So most guys here in the West, like they don't really, you know, look at it as co-culture. Like I've, I've honestly seen like some guys kind of praise being a bit uh, a stepdaddy, you know, and like for myself, as you guys know, I'm Muslim. So in Islam, um, marrying a single mom or a widow uh, that has children is actually sunnah, and sunnah means it's actually good. You know, it's actually a good practice. So, but so, but a lot of guys are not going to agree with this. Like, I'm Muslim. I'm different. Like, if I if I find a beautiful, submissive, loving woman, and she has kids, and she's been divorced, maybe because the the daddy, the baby daddy, won crap, or maybe he passed away, or something like that. If she, if she, if we have good energy together, we have good connection, good attraction. And like, I love this woman, I'm going to be with her, you know, and we'll figure the situation out. If that, if all those other things are not a problem, you know, like I talked about the responsibility without authority, the kids being overly annoying and all this stuff. Like I will, I will be with a single mom. I don't feel no type of way. Like people say, you know, alpha males don't date single moms. That's bull, bro. Like stop. Y'all need to stop letting social media and propaganda teach y'all something that's not true. All right. For real. Like dating a single mom or being with a single mom that has nothing to do with you being alpha or beta, bro. Like that is just some stuff people use to sell the topic and get views. I'm going to be honest with you. If you disagree, put it in the comments, bro. But I'm, I'm going to give you the real truth. That has nothing. Being an alpha male is all about you. It's about you and who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like you could be an alpha and date a stripper. You know, I saw some real true alpha males date strippers. And some people they say, oh, only betas date strippers. No, only betas let strippers take advantage of them. And only betas simp for strippers. All right. That's the real truth. People are not precise with this. All right. So if, you, if you're the type of guy you say, oh, I'm an alpha, so I ain't date a single mom. Bro, you are immature and you're childish and you obviously can't think for yourself. All right. I'm going to tell you that to the camera right now. I'm going to tell that to your face. If you got a problem with it, come see me. We can have a conversation. All right. But... Um, there's a thing, like I said, called cut culture. And cut culture is basically you taking the responsibility in another woman's child. Now, like I said, this may not be for you. You know, it, it doesn't make you less of a man. Actually, it makes you more of a man to take that responsibility for something that some lame dude couldn't take care of. You know, like you're supposed to, you're supposed to be there for your children. So some dudes, they step out, they're immature. And you got to understand, bro, some women... They just had, they made a mistake. You know, they were with a dude. They thought he was a good dude. They ended up having children because people have sex. And the dude walked out or he wasn't crap or whatever the case may be. Or he could have just passed away. So you got to understand, like, all these things I'm talking about, those are possible negatives or positives when it comes to dating single moms. I am not a dating coach. Dating coaches tell you who to date and who not to date. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen and let you make the best decision. So the biggest thing I think about all this stuff when it comes to dating single moms is vetting the woman. If you're really interested in her, bro, I'm telling you, because if you got this stupid, like childish new age mentality that, oh, I can't date a single mom because I'm so alpha and I'm so red pill, you're going to miss out on a lot of great women, bro. It's like I've met some great, beautiful women 
that have, I'm talking about awesome women, bro, better than women who don't have children. I'm going to say this again. There are women who don't have children that are way worse than some of these women that do have children, bro. It's all about the woman. All right. It's all about the woman. But like I said, the biggest thing you got to do and the first thing you got to do is you got to vet this woman. All right. Vet I'm, I'm not on either side. I'm not on the side of stay away from single moms and I'm not on the side of, you know, single moms are just awesome and, and dope. I'm not on either side. I'm very neutral. I'm very in the middle. It just depends on the woman and you guys' connection and or interaction. All right. So vet the woman. Ask her questions. Find out. Find out what the relationship is with her baby daddy. Because if her baby daddy's still around, I'm going to give it to you, G, fellas. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? If you made it to the end of the video, good job. This is the game part. Y'all always not leave the game for the end. If that dude's still around and he's an A-type dude, meaning alpha, there is a 92% chance, 92.6% chance... <laughs> I'm going to give you the exact number that he is still smashing that chick. All right. I said it. All right. I hope y'all know if you guys are waiting on this. All right. It's the truth. Y'all don't want to hear this, but I'm going to tell you the truth. It's a 90 96.2, 92.6, whatever I said. I'm just making up a number, G. But it's a good chance. It's a high chance he's still smashing her, bro. She's not going to tell you this. And why would she? All right. And the last thing you want is for him to come pick up them kids. All right. Because, look, I'm going to tell y'all, look, I got I got kids, all right? I never told y'all this, but I got children. <laughs> the last thing you want, G, is him to go pick up his kids and you in the house with her, and then he look at you and give you that smirk, like, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> because he know he's still smashing her, bro. Don't be, dude, I'm, I'm just letting you guys know. I'm not telling you what to do again, all right? And I'm laughing. I'm not going to tell y'all why I'm laughing, but it's the truth, guys, all right? It's the dead honest truth, all right? You got to understand this. This is a possibility. So don't put yourself in that situation. You need to know whether or not she's still dealing with that guy. And so, so most times she's not going to tell you. She wouldn't tell you. Why would she tell you? But you got you to, gotta, she has to be way far from this guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he has to be either, like some beta dude that she you you even disgusted by. And you know damn well she ain't still messing with that dude. Or he has to be, like, locked up, locked away, or, you know, God forbid, passed away or something like that. Or live, like, in another state or just gone. Or he's married and he got his own thing going on. All right? But, dude, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But don't be dating no single mom, bro, that still got some A-type baby daddy still rolling around. He come and pick up the kids twice a week. You know, he be hanging out over there and like, bro, don't do it, bro. I'm telling you, it's it's a setup for failure. All right. It's a real setup for failure because you're going to leave yourself very hurt and embarrassed sometimes. All right, fellas. All right, man. So it's your boy, KD. This is my my view on dating single moms. A lot of this is from my experience. Like I said, I've dated single moms. Uh, I am a baby daddy. So I know a lot about this. So, uh yeah, man, y'all, y'all, y'all protect yourselves out there, man. Y'all protect yourself. But and again, I'm gonna say this, man. It's some great single moms out there, bro. Some really awesome women that will make great wives or great girlfriends. You just gotta vet her properly. All right, all right, fellas. It's your boy KD, man. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I love all the support. I love all the support, man. I really appreciate y'all for uh, supporting me on this YouTube thing, man. Like I said, I'm taking it serious. Video every day. Sometimes I do two videos a day, uh, depending on my schedule and what I got going on. Today is Sunday, so I might get two videos in today because I don't have much. To do. I still got a lot of work to do, but not as much as during the week. So, uh, yeah, man, y'all like the video. If you haven't liked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, turn on the bell for notifications so you can get the videos when they drop so you don't miss any. It's your boy, KD. We out of here, baby.